okay so our discussion for this video will be about measuring tools and equipment so we will be talking about uh, tools that we are going to use in measuring the uh, different electrical quantities and also in um, uh, the tools that we are going to use to um, to measure no? uh, certain uh, quantities especially if you are going to do our electrical installation works okay so let's proceed to the next slide okay so we have measuring tools and instruments are sensitive and delicate so extra care is necessary in handling them they are used to measure lengths currents voltages resistances wattages and other important elements in electrical works so this topic will tackle the function or use of each measuring tool and instrument used in doing mensuration or measuring tasks no? so from this um, statement because uh, it is stated that measuring tools and instrument are sensitive so when we see sensitive they are um, they are somewhat um, used no they are um, prone to damage if they are not used properly in uh, in the workplace so that's why it is said that extra care is necessary in handling them okay so let's proceed to the first uh, measuring tool no? we have the test light so it is a packet size tool used to test the line wire or circuit if there is current in it So that is uh, this is the a uh, photo of a test light which is used to determine if there is current uh, in this outlet so this is a test light so its main purpose is to test the line wire or circuit if there is current in it okay next we have spirit level no a tool used to indicate how parallel level or perpendicular plumb a surface is relative to the earth a spirit level gets its name from the mineral spirit solution inside the levels so this is a photo of a spirit uh, level no? so the main the main usage of this um, tool is to um, check if the horizontal and the vertical alignment of the surface or or for example in any electrical devices is um, correct relative to the earth so that's why we have the parallel the level and the perpendicular alignment no? relative to the earth okay next we have micrometer so it is used to measure the diameter of wires conductors in circular mills threads of screw and other small measurements so micrometer is used to measure diameters no? diameters of wires thread of screw and small measurements so this is the photo of a micrometer so as you can see here this is the uh, gap here where you are going to place your um, uh, your device or the specimen that you are going to measure okay next we have wire gauge no so it is used in determining the size of conductors So the gauge ranges from 0 to 60 American wire gauge. You know? So that is the, um, the range in which uh, the size of wire that can be measured by a wire gauge. You know? So this is the, uh, the, the photo or the appearance of a wire gauge next we have pull push rule so pull push rule started up pull pull push rule so like a tongue twister is a measuring tool used to measure the length of an object in centimeter and in inches so this is a photo of a pull push rule next we have ammeter so ammeter is an instrument used to measure the amount of electric electrical current intensity 
in a circuit. So the unit of measure is ampere. So it is connected along or in series to the circuit. Okay, so this is a photo of a ammeter. Then we have voltmeter. So an instrument used to measure the electrical voltage of a circuit. So the unit of measure is volts. So this is connected. So a voltmeter is connected across or parallel to the circuit. Okay, so this is a photo of a voltmeter. Then we have clamp on ammeter. So also called as a tongue tester. So used to measure the current flowing in a conductor. It is clamp or hung in a conductor. So so it is called a clamp on meter because it is clamp or hung. No? So this is a clamp on meter and we have here the wire. No? So the the meter, no? the device or the tool is clamped on this wire and its reading is 30.0. So this is a digital clamp on meter. So we have also an, uh, an uh, type of this one which is analog no? in which they there is a scale and a pointer here but for this uh, photo it is a digital so at uh, this photo the reading is 30.0 so it is 30.0 amperes okay next we have the volt ohm millimeter no vom otherwise called as the multi tester so it's used to measure the voltage and current of a circuit no it is also connected in parallel or series with the circuit depending on what to measure aside from that also the volt ohm millimeter no is also used to measure resistance so that's why we have the ohm on its name no volt for the voltage ohm for the resistance and millimeter is for the current so the volt ohm millimeter is used to measure voltage current and resistance so this is a analog uh, VOM volt ohm millimeter and this is also a digital um, VOM no digital volt ohm millimeter so as you can see the they have the same uh, likely the same um, appearance um, but there are other uh, but there are also noticeable differences especially on some of the knobs and how they and how they um, the shoulder reading no for analog so we have the pointer and the scale for the digital we have the LCD no LCD screen here which we could directly read the readings no or the the quantity of uh, that we are that we are measuring no so we have the same test probe no so we have the red for the positive black for the negative so also here we have the red and the black okay next we have the insulation testers no insulation testers use a high voltage low current dc charge to measure the resistance within wires and motor windings to identify current leakage and faulty or damaged insulation which can lead for arc faults blown circuits and risk of electric shock or fire so they are also known as megaometers and are ideal for monitoring machine health and improving preventive maintenance effort. So the main purpose of an insulation tester is to measure the resistance no, within wires and motor windings. Because if if there is a certain standard on the on the resistance between uh, wires and motor windings, if if that standard is not met then uh, it is concluded that the wires no or the electrical wirings or the motor windings are faulty so meaning their insulation has been deteriorated and it could lead to arc faults no blown circuits short circuits and ele electric shock so that's why insulation testers are very useful especially if you are going to the to determine the insulation integrity of our electrical system no so this is a photo of a digital insulation tester so there comes also in uh, different types depending on the manufacturer so there are other um, 
insulation testers that look like a attach case no so for this one this is a the most common no? insulation tester next we have the earth leakage no earth leakage clamp meter so it allows you to test the circuit in a safe fast and easy way it is handled handheld device that you simply clamp around a conductor and will instantly give you a reading of the actual leakage current. It can detect small currents down to a hundredth of a milliamp. No, hundred, so a very small amount. So you can use this to find the problem of the circuit. Okay, so this is a photo of a clamp on a uh, clamp, no, uh, earth leakage clamp meter. No, so this is a photo of that one. So it is used to find leakage current especially the current that is going to the ground no so which which does not um, go directly to the uh, to the neutral or to the uh, circuit no which can also cause electric shock and other faults in the system no so this is a photo of a uh, earth leakage clamp meter okay next we have the vernier caliper no it can take both inside and outside measurements so we have the view here of a vernier caliper so just for we have the parts here so this is the just for measuring so for example we are, we, are, we want to make sure the the uh, the dimension no, of the pipe we, are, we want to take the uh, the inside and outside dimension so we will use this jaw here for the inside diameter and for this one for the outside diameter to subtract the outside minus the inside diameter then we could get the gauge or the thickness of our pipe so here we could read our um, our measurements no so it is it works like a ruler here but you have to consider the increments in this part of the uh, Werner caliper okay so I believe that will be all for this video on measuring tools and equipment. So if there are any other tools that we have discussed, maybe we could discuss that one on other videos, no? like just like this. And I hope you understand something in this video. And as always, enjoy learning.